How to sort laundry. Laundry is a necessity in life. Clean clothes can keep people looking and smelling nice and maintain the quality of the articles. But many people are not aware that there are safer and more effective ways to do laundry than simply throwing clothing into the washing machine. One of the best things you can do for your laundry is to sort it before washing. This can protect your clothing from damage and make for better, more efficient washing. By categorizing laundry items and streamlining your laundry organization, you can easily sort laundry. Categorizing laundry items. Check each item. If your laundry is in a giant pile, it's a good idea to check each item as you sort it. This gives you a chance to make sure that a red sock doesn't end up coloring your beautiful whites and see if articles have special laundering instructions. Make sure to read the care instructions on each article of clothing the first time you wash it. Look at it again during the sorting process in case you forgot the care instructions or to see if you can put the item with other articles. Consider checking each item you've sorted as you put it into the washing machine to prevent mishaps. Separate by color. The first category by which you should sort is color of the items. This can prevent dye transfer problems during washing that often ruin or damage white or lighter colored clothing. Make piles for white, light, and dark clothing. Your white pile should be for articles like socks, underwear, t-shirts and other sturdy white cotton items. The light colored pile should have colors like pink, lavender, light blue, light green, and yellow. Finally, your dark pile should have gray, black, navy, red, and purple articles. Consider separating out denim into its own pile. You can either wash this as an individual load or together with your dark pile. Make piles for white, light, and dark clothing. Your white pile should be for articles like socks, underwear, t-shirts and other sturdy white cotton items. The light colored pile should have colors like pink, lavender, light blue, light green, and yellow. Finally, your dark pile should have gray, black, navy, red, and purple articles. Consider separating out denim into its own pile. You can either wash this as an individual load or together with your dark pile. Sort by fabric weight. Chances are that you have items made of different fabrics and textures. Sorting these out after you've put the articles in color piles can ensure everything from the quality of your delicates to preventing lint from sticking to certain fabrics. It can also help the drying process go more quickly and evenly. Put any delicates in piles by color. Delicates are items such as lingerie, pantyhose, washable silks and anything that you want to keep from harsh agitation in the washing machine. Segregate items that are lint givers and lint receivers. For example, you shouldn't put towels with corduroy articles. Consider sorting out synthetics and natural fibers if you want to run another separate washing cycle. This can further prevent lint transfer. Separate out lighter and heavier weight clothing items. For example, you don't want to have heavier cotton pants with thin t-shirts. The heavier fabric can damage lighter and more delicate articles by scratching during washing. Put any delicates in piles by color. Delicates are items such as lingerie, pantyhose, washable silks and anything that you want to keep from harsh agitation in the washing machine. Segregate items that are lint givers and lint receivers. For example, you shouldn't put towels with corduroy articles. Consider sorting out synthetics and natural fibers if you want to run another separate washing cycle. This can further prevent lint transfer. Separate out lighter and heavier weight clothing items. For example, you don't want to have heavier cotton pants with thin t-shirts. The heavier fabric can damage lighter and more delicate articles by scratching during washing. Assign very soiled clothes to another pile. If you have articles that are very soiled or stained, consider assigning them to a separate pile altogether. These items may require pre-treating stains or washing on a specialty cycle that is too harsh for other articles. In addition, it prevents soils or stains from redepositing on less dirty articles. Pre-treat any stains or soils with a stain remover before putting it in washing machine. This can prevent further transfer or redepositing of stains. Pre-treat any stains or soils with a stain remover before putting it in washing machine. This can prevent further transfer or redepositing of stains. Create subcategories. If you're committed to washing your clothing and other articles in the most effective way, you may want to consider creating subcategories as separate cycles. For example, items like towels and bedding are often heavier than articles of clothing while newborn or baby clothes are light colors. Creating these type of subcategories can further protect your clothing and other articles from damage.